Good day, everyone. Uh, here is a little review of um, mistakes that I saw in Lab 5 reports. So the, this document is made out of uh, actual students' work. Now I'm going to go through all the exercises here, and I'm going to show you how to fix the, these mistakes. Right? And I'm going to explain what is wrong about it. So now let us uh, first uh, look at exercise one. Right. So here is um so the the solution consists of two parts so the, the first is a text and the second part is a code so let, let let me go through the text first so there is nothing fundamentally wrong with it but uh so that there are some little issues so first grammar please uh remember that when you write your reports so, so you, you mean them to be read by other people so try to pay attention to well to grammar to wording and so on and so forth so now I, i'm not expecting that you're going to write like shakespeare but still you know uh, try to do a decent work so another thing is formatting so equations should be typed as latex equations i know that you have not learned latex yet but you are going to and it's probably time to start now so you you can always look at how i type my handouts and you can try to mimic it all right, so latex equations are typed as latex equations. And if um, you need to refer to a Python function in uh, in normal text in a markdown cell, then there is a formatting for that too. Okay, so we extracted the values to form the upper triangle, then we added the transpose of the upper triangle matrix to it. And then we have a uh, full stop. And I guess to make it grammatically correct, I should do this. Okay, so the takeaway is pay attention to grammar and to formatting. Now, let us fix the code. And again, uh, there is nothing fundamentally wrong with the code, but there are some things here. So the first thing that I couldn't help but notice is that these two uh, lines of code are kind of there, but they're not used in, in the SQL because in the next line, X um, is is assigned again so it's, it's created from scratch again so we don't need these All right so another thing is that these two lines of code yeah so if i run it it's okay yeah, it doesn't change anything so the, the, these two lines of code can be actually combined into one right because they i mean what's the, the purpose of creating x and then rewriting it um so, well sometimes it could be useful so if say if we wanted to reuse this x in future several times then we should store it but we're not doing it here are we so why don't we just um so this is zero plus and i think it's it's correct so nothing has changed and then there is one more little thing that uh so when we so notice that when we fill the diagonal with zeros, but then later we extract uh, from from the, the, this x, we only extract the part that is right above the, the, the that is above the main diagonal. So in other words, it, it doesn't make sense to to do this because we are not taking the diagonal anyway, right? So this is definitely better. So then notice that now we do not really need to store x um, x itself, right? So when we create y out of x, so the, the previously uh, existed x can be discarded. So we can just do this. Oops, sorry, something's wrong. And p, oh yeah, type of error. And so now th th this is how you can Im Im improve your code by deleting um, unnecessary steps and combining. Uh, so whenever it makes sense, combining uh, several steps in, into one. So here it makes sense because it does not really make your code un unreadable or, or too long. Okay, so the, the main takeaway here is that you should always try to, uh, to write simple code that can be read by another human being.